Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's talk Lake Lehman Girls Lacrosse. Joining us is the co-head coach, Alex Wilson. Of course, his partner, Ron Sto- Stroll, the other coach. Well, Alex, let's talk about this team this year. You uh, Ladies are 7-4 and four out there. And, uh, Alex, you guys are doing a real nice job. Well, thanks. So we're, having a, it's, uh, we're having a good season and we're having a lot of fun. And, of course, you have a good amount of seniors this year with uh, five that have some experience that are back on the field for you. And this is the fourth year in existence as a varsity program at Lake Lehman. Let's talk about those seniors that have come through this program. Yeah, we've got two very strong uh, uh, offensive seniors in, uh, in my daughter, Mallory Wilson, who's at the uh, start of the program as a freshman, as well as uh, Alyssa Adams. And they, uh, between them, have uh, amassed somewhere in the area of well, they both reached the 200 goal plateau, and I think uh, scoring wise, they're um, they're over 300 points each, which is you know, statewide is it's, it's, they're among some of the leaders. Coach, talk about that offensive power that those two have, and where they are on the field. They kind of have a good feel for each other with assists and and trying to get each other the the ball. Yeah, they've been playing together since seventh grade in, in the youth program, and they uh, uh, they seem to know where they're going to be. Uh, where each other's going to be on the field. Uh, Mallory is is kind of the the offensive general. She she likes to operate from behind the goal and and uh, set up the plays. And uh, Alyssa's just a strong finisher. She's uh, she's got a great first step. She um, she she's very hard to defend one on one. And a lot of teams have to commit if they're going to stop her, which they don't often. They've got to commit two or three defenders to her. How about the other few seniors that you have there at Lake Lehman? Um, on the on the defensive side, um, we've got uh, our two our two low defenders are, are both four year members of the program as well. Uh, it's Emily Glasso and Natalie Barker, and um, and our goalkeeper Mackenzie Borum is uh, uh, is one of the top. Well, she's been the, the the top goaltender in the league the last two years. Good defensive base back there, and uh, and then we've got some. You know that they're able to direct the underclassmen and, and and kind of teach them on the field. Coach, as you go through the league and the competition is, is stiff, uh, tell us about uh, some of the programs out there you, you like competing against. And of course, uh, lacrosse has really exploded the last several years, and it just seems like it's getting hotter and hotter. Yeah, oh, it's it's been it's great to see these new programs uh, popping up. Uh, you know, the uh, when we first uh, when we first got started. You know, six years ago as a club, there were really only just a few local programs. We had to we had to travel, um, and now uh, you know we've got the Wyoming Valley Conference with ten ten women's team, ten girls teams in it, and uh, with Hazleton joining next year, and and I'm sure there'll be more. I think it's uh, it's a tremendous growth, and 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 it's nice also to have some teams that have been around for a while. Uh, Wyoming Seminary has been around since. Uh, for at least a decade, and, and so has Delaware Valley. They, they used to play up in, in New York because they didn't have any competition down here. So those are the those are kind of the benchmark teams. We were able to knock off Delaware Valley two years ago, and uh, we're still working on seminary. They've uh, uh, they've won our district the uh, you know every year that they've had a district here in the last four years. Coach, let's go through some of the other classes on your team, the junior sophomores, and if you have any freshmen with your program, tell us about some of the players that are standing out for you at Lake Lehman. Well, certainly the um, uh, Katie Stroll had came on as a freshman last year and was one of our uh, top five scorers on the team, and, and this year she's she's uh, provided. We've you know, we used her in the midfield last year, which she was t- a little bit out of position, but we needed her there, and now this year we've got her up at attack. And um, she's got a great pop. She's she's uh, uh, you know really a, a threat that that some of the, uh, the the teams this year have gone in, going into the games don't realize that she's going to be a threat. But uh, she's emerged as a very good player. The um, on the uh, the other sophomores, uh, Carrie Ann Kuiper uh, is her second year playing uh, and has good speed and is a very good defender for us. Um, some of the uh, some of the other freshmen that have, that have come out this year, that and, and we're blessed in that the uh, a lot of these girls have played the youth. You know, we have two youth feeder programs, which is a, a luxury in this area. You know, coming either through the Lehman uh, Youth Program or the uh, Back Mountain Program, uh, we've got Caitlin Primus as, as a freshman, is doing very well for us back on defense as a starter. 
some of the midfielders. Our midfielders are all freshmen. Our center midfielder, Hallie Jenkins. Uh, her older sister, uh, Amelia, was the captain of our first varsity team. And uh, she's following in her footsteps. She's, uh, um, she's playing very well. Um, Alicia Galasso is a freshman uh, midfielder for us who's really, um, you know, really come on strong this year. Uh, Izzy Radel is, is a freshman, is the other freshman midfielder. And, um, you know, they've, uh, I think this year that we've, because we've been young there, the, you can see our team has grown tremendously as those girls have got adjusted to the high school game. And also at midfield, we have uh, the uh, Grace Butler, who's uh, another freshman midfielder, and Michaela Adams, uh, who, again, both don't have high school experience, but they've did very well at the youth level, and they're, they're adjusting very well to the uh, to the high school game. Uh, and I have to mention uh, Alexis Barker has stepped up as a sophomore. She's only a second-year player, but she's uh, stepped in at an attack role that uh, has been um, – instrumental in, in, in running our offense. Coach, uh, when you talk about going forward, and of course your program has said it's a young program, last several years you guys have done a real nice job. Uh, where do you see your program going uh, as that as we speak about that and what you think you need to do to get that little higher level? Is it just a matter of kids getting involved at these younger ages and getting the skills with that stick and carrying around with them all the time? You know, it really is. I mean, uh, we've, we've had, you know, the, the girls that are uh, you know the girls I mentioned, uh, uh, you know Mallory and Alyssa and, and, and Mackenzie Borum. They've been playing together since seventh grade, and you know so they're the nucleus. And now you're looking down, and I'm I'm seeing that between the two youth programs, Lake Lehman's going to get eight or nine freshmen again this year that are that have experience. And um, you know you can't those stick skills they take they take several years to develop. You know, if you get a girl and who comes out as a freshman or sophomore, you kind of feel like in her senior year she's just starting to get the hang of it when when she graduates. So it's uh, it's I think that's what's going to be the importance. And you know, yesterday I attended a, a third and fourth grade festival where there was you know, there had to be 300 little girls out there playing uh, <laughs> playing lacrosse in third or fourth grade, and that's what's going to bring this area up to speed with the with the. Uh, southeastern pennsylvania alex wilson ron stroll the co-head coaches at lake lehman alex want to thank you for your time and uh look forward to seeing how you uh ladies out there do the rest of the year and of course 10 and 4 right now for the lady black knights thank you alex uh, you're very welcome john thanks for having me lake lehman girls lacrosse here on the john mandola show we are driven by mccarthy tire and automotive centers